Alright guys, we just have one lone Choro Q to talk about today. And I think it's a 1970 to 1973-ish uh, Firebird. At least the front end looks that way. But honestly, the rear end looks like a later version of the Firebird because it has all these horizontal stripes. So, let's take a look here. So the front end is definitely, you know, that type of a uh, Firebird that I have the photos of with the monitor because it's got these, uh, whatever, crosshairs and these fog lights there. Or are these turn signals? I'm not sure. It's nice to see the silver texture here, and I think it actually says Pontiac in raised letters there. So that's pretty nice to see. What I'm also figuring out is this is a separate plastic piece. So I think this original body is like a, the later Firebird, and they just glue on a different front end. So they're trying to use the same, you know, instead of two different molds. So it's interesting. It doesn't, it's obviously not as nice because it looks even goofier than it usually does. But, uh, well, what can you do? All right, so let's see what it says on the bottom here. It just says F-Bird type. So it's probably totally unlicensed also. This is from 2001, so pretty old now. Number 17. You'll see on the rear end, see that looks like the Smoking the Bandit Firebird, which would make more sense. That's probably the more popular one. Oh boy, now I have to decide if I want to even search for that because I, I want it. <laughs> Darn, I should have never thought of that. Alright, well anyways, the canopy seems to be separate uh, smoked plastic. And uh, yeah, I think the main body is just black opaque plastic. So there's two pieces going on with that. Three pieces here. This I don't know. I don't know if that's a separate piece or not, but it's cool to have the little induction cowl there. The white stripes, well, they're not so great. I think this was played with because there's some scratches all over the thing, so... You know, some kid had fun with this for a little while. It still moves, though, the spring motor, so it's good. It's alright. It's an interesting one. It's not the best Joro Q I've gotten, but, well, it's an interesting subject matter. I don't actually have the Kyosho uh, Firebird, like these photographs here. The closest thing I have is the 1969 Firebird, and this one is made by M2 Machines, I think. Let me just double check. Yeah, it is M2 Machines. So, totally different body style, but you get the idea that, you know, this thing is a, a foreshortened cartoon car. So, width-wise, it's not that bad, though. All right. Well, that's a quick one today, guys. Uh, I'll have to look into whether or not they make the Smokey and the Bandit one. I wouldn't be surprised because they've been making Joro Q's for like four decades, I think. All right, I'll see you around until the next video. Thanks for watching.